Hey, what's going on guys? My name is MY and today I'm going to be showing you how to sidechain in Logic Pro. So this is what it sounds like with no sidechain at all. And this is what it sounds like with the sidechain. So you can just hear it, it cleans up so much room for the kick to come through. And so I'm going to show you how to set this up from scratch. So the first thing you're going to want to do is put your sounds that you want sidechain into a group. So if they're not already in a group, go on a sound and hit Command Shift G, and it'll put it in its own group. Then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna mute that group. Once the group is muted, you're gonna create a MIDI track. So hit the plus icon up here, open up a software instrument track, and you're gonna wanna go down to AU MIDI Controlled Effects. And this is where you're gonna go to your sidechain plugin. I use Cable Guys Shaper Box, and you're gonna hit Create. After this, for everywhere the drum is hitting, specifically the kick, whatever you want sidechain, you're going to lay down a MIDI note. And the MIDI note specifically has to be on any of the C's. So C1, C2, C3. I'm just going to recall this sidechain to make it easier. So the next thing you want to do is you're going to open up ShaperBox. Once ShaperBox is open, you're going to hit click the sidechain button up here, and you're going to go to Bus. And you're going to want to go to the bus that all your sounds are grouped in. Then you're going to go to volume. It's important when you're doing this part to make sure that you grab it and drag it down versus using one of these. When you do this, the side chain won't actually work. It's uh, It needs to have the, the, the start of it. and it can't be flat so I pretty much shape my side chain from here next we're gonna set the MIDI trigger to on and I like to set this to one-fourth now the side chain should be active and the audio should be coming through